I've always wondered what that looked like as a robot. Not too shabby. I just went out for a little stroll. Thought I'd stop back and say hi. It's a good thing your survival and my humanity aren't at stake. Otherwise, I might be annoyed by your attitude. But, fine. I shouldn't have doubted you'd come back. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? The railroad helped me. Oh. God, those kooks. I would have expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines or setting computer terminals free or... Sorry. They just have something of a reputation. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the simple explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers, and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. Your confidence is staggering. I'm just saying, I can't guarantee it'll work. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay, can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. I got it covered. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there, for both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being... normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. Whatever is making that smell needs to seek medical attention. Immediately.
I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. The only logical explanation is that they've gone underground. That's where we need your help. Well, guess what? This is your lucky day. I have a way inside. The method is useless without the means to make it work. Perhaps we should pool our resources to achieve our common goal. Now, indulge me for a moment by satisfying my curiosity. Tell me why you're so eager to get into the Institute. I think they're the ones who kidnapped my son. The Institute preys on the weak to further their own ends. Together, we'll make them pay for their crimes. I'll call ahead and brief Proctor Ingram. Report to the airport, and get to work on your project right away. officers I've ever had the pleasure of serving under. You know those synths with the plastic faces? Ugh, they creep me the heck out. Oh, this frame is driving me crazy. I've got like three itches I can't even scratch. Elder Maxon said you'd help me build the signal interceptor. So, looks like you're calling the shots around here now, huh? All right, I'll bite. What does your new miracle device do? Did you know the Institute has a teleporter called the Molecular Relay? Take a look. Molecular... what? No. Molecular transmission via encrypted RF waves? Okay, even I have to admit. That's genius. This explains why we've been picking up anomalous energy readings all across the Commonwealth. Not to mention how they get their tin soldiers to come out of the damn walls. And this little beauty allows you to literally hijack a return signal. Instead of grabbing the intended target, it grabs you instead. Impressive. Well, you definitely know your stuff. Damn right I do. It's difficult to make out all the details here, but I'm thinking you can get started by building a stabilized reflector platform. It's gonna take a cargo hold full of high-grade metal, but I'm sure that we have plenty of it right here at the airport. I'm glad you can make sense of those plans. I haven't made sense of all of it yet, but I will by the time you get the first part built. Here's a list of everything you need to find. You're also going to need a massive power source to get the signal interceptor running.
Don't despair, brother. We're here to save the Commonwealth. Any luck building the platform yet? I glued a bunch of parts together and hoped for the best. Good enough? Hey, you're the one that's gonna be standing on the thing. If it blows up, it's gonna hurt you a lot more than it'll hurt me. Here's a list of everything we'll need. Now, I know some of that might as well be in Greek, so I'll be around if you have any questions. Can you explain how this thing is actually gonna work? According to Virgil's notes, it takes four components to complete the signal interceptor. First, we need a control console to input the code sequence and process the signal. That's the easy part. Second, we have the relay dish. That's for the interceptor part of the name. It scans and grabs the proper frequency we need. Third, and the most complex, is the molecular beam emitter. This is the actual component that translates your matter into energy for transmission. You've already built the stabilized reflector platform, which concentrates and reflects the molecular beam. Oh, one last thing before I forget. It's important that all the components are wired together so all the pieces are on a single grid. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. If you need any help, I'll be over at the build site making some adjustments and calculations. I'd wish you good luck, Knight, but I think we're both going to need it.
help. Thought as much. Nothing oh, there are What a bunch of junk.
Identified intruder detected. Beginning search. Going down. Basement hostile target identified. Multiple hostile targets detected. Request air backup.
place sure took a beating. This is on the same grid as the rest of the signal interceptor. Better check all your connections and make sure all the components are wired together on a single grid. Proctor Ingram. We're close. All we need is enough power to fire up the signal interceptor. work night. The signal interceptor appears to be complete. Are you ready to put it to the test? Lab rat, standing by. All of us are aware of the risks you're taking, and we salute you. That being said, this is the first time we've attempted to directly adapt Institute technology. When we throw that switch, we don't know exactly what's gonna happen. God willing, you'll end up inside the Institute, and the mission can continue. What are the details of my mission? I'm glad you asked. Now, I want you to listen very carefully. Once you've entered the Institute, we expect to lose contact. So it's imperative you remember everything I'm about to tell you. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. How did the Brotherhood meet Dr. Lee? She was part of a civilian project in the Capital Wasteland that the Brotherhood appropriated. It wasn't difficult to convince her to stay. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. What sort of differences? Although she was working with the Brotherhood of Steel, she never formally joined as a scribe. After the Capital Wasteland was secured, she objected to the Brotherhood's continued military presence there. I think she assumed we would just walk away from it all. She was wrong. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon for the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. Listen to me, Knight. I'm well aware that you're risking your life going into the Institute blind. Just keep your mind on the mission, and don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck. Checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal interceptor's ready to go. Are you? Ingram? I've checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal interceptor's ready to go. Are you? Let's do this. All right. Head up onto the platform and we'll see if I can find a signal to lock onto. The device doesn't work from over there. You have to be on the platform. 
Let's see. Relays dialed in. Beam emitters warmed up. Everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross your fingers. I'm inputting the code now. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. It's gonna take a minute or two to lock in. By the way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well, looks like we have a winner. RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. 60%, 80%. Emitter spiking, but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three, two, one. Stay safe, soldier.